All right, guys, just gonna give you a little opening for the hunt you're about to watch, kind of give you the, the setup. We're in the donut hole. It's, I think it's the third or fourth day of season. 10 of us out there, I believe, um, got sunshine for a change. It is a beautiful bluebird day. Lots of ducks, though, are on the other end of the property, so we're away from the ducks. And I know this going into it, so I know I'm not gonna see near the volume of ducks as, as what I saw the, the day before, which was on the previous video. But still think I can see enough to shoot me eight or 10 limits. Right off the bat, plenty of ducks, but they act funky. I'm talking about they are, they are acting just crazy, will not finish just dip and then flare like you're shining a light in their face. It's on me. I run spinners every day for the most part. I start out with them. Now, normally I can read the ducks and if I see they're flaring off of them, I turn them off. Well, maybe we'll blame it on early in the season, but for whatever reason, it takes me 20 minutes too long to figure out that the spinners are flaring the ducks. So once I turn the spinners off, they start acting right, sunshine, Wind's perfect. There's some great kill shots in this video. I hope you like it. Um, give me some feedback. Let me know what you want to see. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy this hunt. Kill it, Drake. One at a time. Spinners. Freaking spinners. Was playing them all morning, and it took me 20 minutes too long to figure it out. They'll keep flying, we'll kill them. But never would have thought this early in the season the spinners would cost us. They did. Hopefully they'll keep moving. Kill them. Spinners, I cannot believe it. That was costing us. Every duck we've seen since I turned them off. They'll keep flying, we're gonna get
kill him. Kill him! Kill him! Oh, that was pretty coming right through there. They short lit us. You know if you've watched any of my stuff that I love to single cut to finish the ducks. I'm just saying cut, cut, cut. I love finishing ducks that way. Now, some of these groups today on this hunt, you might notice something. I didn't do any of that on, on the best group where we kill all of them out of the group. I didn't give them anything. They worked for a while and I tried the single cuts. Then you'll hear me mix up my feed and even speed it up. But these, these ducks, just, they never would get right, right over the hole and really would go downwind like I wanted them to. So the last pass before they finish, I hit them with a low duck. <laughs> and then one more little short cadence. <laughs> and that was all it took. Had a jerk string going. That probably helped a lot. Just a little tip. Try the single cuts, try the jerk string. Sometimes less is more. Just got to read the ducks. Kill them. Watch him, Russ. Yes, sir, I believe so. I'm gonna run him down if he ain't. Two green in, two green down. We'll see him, we kill him. Drake on the other side, right over. See? Going? Right here, man. Yeah. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him.
Elaine. I, I do not. They've got how many y'all have guys? Kill him. Boy, that is some fine shooting. Fine shooting. Golly bum. Glad y'all kill him. Quick browning story for the morning. Gun fell off the hanger, completely under. I no sooner than get it out of the water, pour the water out, and that big group comes in. She fires three times, never missed a lick. Tickled to death with it. Be close together. Your tripod. No, I didn't. I bought that. Social distance. All right, we gotta get these ducks. Come on, everybody. Sunshine. Man, my boy said, walking out after a pretty nice little hunt in the sunshine for a change in the timber.